wound up singing his songs in a French restaurant in Santa Cruz, California for 12 years until the city bought the whole lot and turned it into a parking lot. But, you know, Brasson's taught me a great deal, though I never met him, something about writing songs and poetry. And then there's something about being a mensch, being a stand-up human being. When he, he was dying, he went to a small seacoast town he grew up in, and being interviewed, said, we know, set, the town hasn't had very many famous people. There's Paul Valerie, the poet, and they've got a big tomb out in the water for him. And they've an actor in Jean Villard, and they named the local theater after him. I don't know what they're going to give me. And then he brightened up. He said, well, there's a, a potter's field in town, a beggar's pauper's field. You know, they can have the Georges Brassens potter's field. That'd be okay. Seth actually has a very famous cemetery, hillside cemetery looking out over the ocean, and a lot of people come to be buried there. But when Brassens will was opened, it turned out that he insisted on being buried in the local potter's field. So one last thumb to the nose. The only pirate song I ever wrote. It's more or less a true story. It's about a lady paper named Mary Reed. It happened in either the late 18th or early 19th centuries. I can't remember. Um, but Mary Reed was a real person. She often shows up when people write about her buddy, Anne Bonnie. Anne Bonnie was much flashier. Mary's the quiet type. But this is her story, and I always felt she deserved one. And it has a, a proper forecastle, forecastle chorus. So if you pick it up, then it's not hard. Feel free to sing along with it. Come on, you filibusterers and roving buccaneers, you rapperies and pickaroons and wayward privateers. Gentlemen of fortune, roaring captains one and all, come hear the tale of Mary Reed and dancing Jack to ball. And it's a glass for every prize, and two for every dirty deed, and three more for the soul of wicked, loving Mary Reed. Her hair was full of twilight, and her eyes were like a game. Her face was like the deep sea that never stays the same. She knew as many rakish songs as any might desire. And she danced along the rigging like St. Elmo's bloody fire. And it's glass for every prize and two for every dirty deed. And three more for the soul of wicked, loving Mary Reed. She went on the account at fifteen years, I do declare. At sixteen with Anne Bonnie, she drew a fighter's share. At seventeen with Blackbeard, she the hand in every hall, and all men took her for a man, but dancing Jack Duval, and it's a glass for every prize, and two for every dirty deed, and three more for the soul of wicked, loving Mary Reed. Now Jack Duval had one wall eye and a pale and greasy jowl. He never struck an honest blow if he could deal a foul. His pleasure was in corners, and the dark was all his greed. But women love the strangest robes, and so did Mary Reed. And it's a glass for every prize, and two for every dirty deed, and three more for the soul of wicked, loving Mary Reed. We were lying south of Cuba, just off the island of Pines, when Jack hit Billy Davy with a jug of brandy wine. Now that Duval was in his cups. T'was the only time he ever struck a grown man standing up. And it's a glass for every prize, and two for every dirty deed, and three more for the soul of wicked, loving Mary Reed. When two men fall to fighting in the buccaneering bands, they set them on some stony isle with iron in their hands. There's the long boat for the winner, and the devil for the ghost. And that's the way it happens with the brethren of the coast. And it's glass for every prize, and two for every dirty deed, and three more for the soul of wicked, loving Mary Reed. Beauty Davy got his pistols, Beauty Davy got his blade, and Jack went in between decks, and that was where he stayed. 
until they caught him in the stern sheets, a sliding overside. And he lay down in the scuppers and kicked his feet and cried. And it's a glass for every prize and two for every dirty deed. And three more for the soul of wicked, loving Mary Reed. And Bonnie was for dragging him all underneath the keel. And Blackbeard was for sending him to feed the moray eel. But Mary nursed him tenderly and kissed his scurvy face. And took his sword and pistol to the island in his place. And it's a glass for every prize and two for every dirty deed. And three more for the soul of wicked, loving Mary Reed. The only gift he gave her was the only shield she bore. A shawl of Spanish laces that he stole in Singapore. And Bonnie begs her not to go, says Mary, if I fall. Be kind to my poor scoundrel, my handsome Jack Duval. And it's a glass for every prize, and two for every dirty deed. And three more for the soul of wicked, loving Mary Reed. They rode ashore together, Mary Reed and Beauty Day. One bound for life and whiskey, and the other for the grave. She looked back once and saw the crew were crowding to the rail. And dancing Jack among them, cracking jokes and drinking ale. And it's a glass for every prize, and two for every dirty deed. And three more for the soul of wicked, loving Mary Reed. Her pistol would not fire, being flooded with the waves. And when he pulled the trigger, no more would beauty days. So they went to it with cutlasses, they fought for half a day. Yeah. 